Jody, my little princess. Oh, Ooh, let me look at you, girl. Oh my God, what a beautiful young woman you've become. Just as pretty as ever. Though sad and lost, like the first time I saw you. I can't even imagine how much I missed you. And how's Ida? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Good to see you too, buddy. Walk with me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was worried. They're looking for you. I had to run away. I mean, I had no choice. How's Nathan? Oh, he's the big boss now. He's running the DPA. <laughs> he's come a long way since the days of our little lab. Have they made any progress on the info world? Oh, they've sunk millions into developing a new condenser, the most powerful ever created. Of course, that was only possible once the army got involved. You're working with the army? Oh, Nathan had no choice, really. It's funding on the condition of exploring possible military applications. <laughs> Go figure. What I talked to you about? Did you find out anything? <clears throat> On the day you were born, a woman named Nora Gray had a child in the DPA hospital. Her child was declared Still born. Where is Nora now? She was interned in a psychiatric hospital just after she gave birth. According to her file, she should still be there now. My mother's been in a, in a mental hospital for 24 years. I mean, why? What happened? That's all the file said. I'm so sorry. I've got to go see her. Jody, I know how you feel, but she's in a mental hospital. You might not get the answers you're looking for. I'm not looking for answers. I just need to see her. I mean, don't you understand? She's my mother. If I could look her in the eye, I could find out who I truly am. Jody. She's in a high-security DPA facility, and you're wanted by every law enforcement agency in the country. You won't be able to walk right in. Nothing's gonna stop me from seeing her. Look. You've taken a huge risk. Thank you, Cole. Hey. You didn't think I was going to let you go alone, did you? Jody. No guard on gate. Empty parking lot. Something doesn't feel right. I'm not back in 30 minutes. Just go. Girl, I didn't come here to wait in no car. Cole, Cole, wait. Try the polite approach. Gets them every time. 
Hey, um, I've come to see Nora Gray. Can I see your authorization? Can you help me out? Look, she's my mother. I haven't seen her in... I'm sorry. All visitors must have the correct authorization. Okay, so I didn't get him this time. What next? I'm working on it. I was afraid you'd say that. Seventh floor, room 43. Hey, there's no call button. Maybe it's behind the desk. First. Have a look around. Far away.
Jesus. Crazy folk really freaked me out. Can we find room 43 and get the hell out of here? I found it, Jody. Good job. Jody, I'm here. I'll wait here. Jody, she may have lost her mind. She might not even know you're there. Shouldn't go in. You won't be able to, Nora. Let us take care of everything. It's for the best. You know that. That's my baby! Bring her back! I've changed my mind! I want her to hit me! quickly! Please! Get the baby out of here! Let us know as soon as anything unusual happens. Decrease the dose. Make sure she never regains consciousness.
was so afraid I would never see you again. I've missed you so much, Jody. I've missed you so much. What happened? What did they do to you? The drugs they gave me trapped me in this hell. There's nothing, nothing I can do. Just wait for it to end. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you out of here. I'm gonna help you. It's too late, Jody. It's too late. I love you more than anything else in the world. Nothing will ever change that. Jody.
most powerful condenser ever created. Impressive, isn't it? Nathan! Oh. Jody, it's good to see you. I was afraid something happened to you. You've lost weight. You look exhausted. But at least you're alive. Let's go into my office. Please, have a seat. How do you feel? <laughs> um, I've been better. That hit on the head did not help. Oh, I'm sorry. I told them not to hurt you. They just didn't want to give you a chance to use Aiden. How did they find me? They've been tracking you ever since you escaped. They wanted to kill you. I convinced them to wait for a while and watch you from a distance. Where's Cole? He's at home. He's fine. I know he was trying to help you. Don't worry, there won't be any consequences for last night. What happened to my mother, Nathan? Nora was unstable. They were afraid she was a danger to herself and her baby. My mother would never hurt me. They couldn't take that chance. Look, I was a researcher at the DPA, Jody. I didn't discover until much later what happened. Why did you never tell me about my mother? Why did you hide the truth all these years? I tried to tell you. But how do you tell a little girl that her life isn't real? So, I looked after you, loved you, tried to protect you as best as I could. So now what? You're just gonna hand me back to the CIA? Is that the plan, Nathan? They brought you here because they have something for you to do, and they'd be very grateful if you do it. You're asking me to help the people who wanted to kill me? Is that what you're asking me, Nathan? Listen, Jody. Why should I listen to you? You work for them. And you lied to me about my mother and my parents. And for what? The money or the power or the fame? Oh, stop that, Jody. You know that's not true. I know nothing anymore. We know another country has discovered the infraworld. They think it's something to be controlled or manipulated. They have no idea what they're dealing with. If entities enter our world, do you know what that would mean, Jody? What has all this got to do with me? Because you know the infraworld better than anyone. It's the CIA's job. And I'm done with that. They want to offer you a deal. You do this for them. And they let you out, you're free. Jody, do you know what would happen if a passage is open? It'll be the apocalypse. You have the power to stop this. According to our intel, the Republic of Kazakhstan has discovered the existence of the Infoworld. Found a rift conducting experiments from a secret base located in the province of Hailangjiang. We don't know what stage they are in their experiments, but we've detected important fluctuations within the infraworld. That means they've found a way to interact with the other side. Now your mission is to destroy this condenser and any other advanced technology you find. Even if we manage to destroy the condenser, the rift will still be there. Well, building a condenser is a costly and time-consuming business. But this operation will gain time to better understand the infant world and to make sure that no one will try to use it against us. Well, I assume the site will be heavily guarded? Well, you should expect considerable military resistance. Team will. Team? Show them in, Marla. Hey, baby. Good to see you, girl. 
Clayton's team goes with you, a small, agile commando unit able to avoid detection. The mission begins in two days. Good luck. Be careful, Jody. No one knows what you're gonna find on the other side. Don't worry. I don't think I'm ready to join the Infra world yet. Good. Because I don't want to lose you. It's good to see you. For the mission's sake, I'll try and forget what a fucking bastard you are. Jody, I... You know what? Don't even try. Great. Tired of all this. If you refuse to cooperate, I will have no choice but to kill you. Of course, I will kill you regardless. But it could have been fast and painless. Instead, it will be a very, very slow and agonizing death. So, I ask you one last time who do you work for? Where are you? It's completely deserted! You sure it's here? We're right on top of the coordinates. It's getting worse! What do we do now? Hey, Jody, ask Aiden to find a shelter somewhere. You hear that, Aiden? There's a house over there! Got it! Got it. Let's go! Damn fishing village! Our informer duped us. That's what happened. We better get moving before they have to dig our frozen dead asses out of here. Three days walking on ice, eating snow, for nothing. Fuck! I find the asshole that sent us here. Hey! Look, I'm sick and tired of hearing you complaining. That's all you have to say, then shut the fuck up! You guys, I'm freezing. You think maybe we could build a fire first and argue later? She's right. We'll set up camp here till the storm blows over. I'll contact HQ and get instructions. Uh, uh. Fuck it. Everything's wet. Try. 
Damn, all this stuff is soaking. <sighs> we better find something. We won't make it through the night. I'm gonna go out. I'm desperate for a pee. Don't go too far, okay? It's minus 40. I don't plan on doing any sightseeing. the main road. A convoy of armored cars, they drove right by me. Did they see you? No. No, I don't think so. Let's roll. Let's follow them! I didn't go see what's inside. Crates into, into submarines. Submarines? That means the rift is. It's underwater. I mean, there must have a, a base down there, and they're using the subs to shuttle supplies. How many soldiers? I can see three. Tell Aiden to take them out. Aiden? Wait, wait. Get rid of the soldiers first.
탱스! sub like this on the CIA simulator. I mean, maybe we can use it. Yeah, sure, let's use their sub. They won't notice anything. I'm looking for a plan, not a way to commit suicide. What, what exactly are you doing? I'm finding a solution to the problem. Nice idea, but it won't fool them very long. Yeah, well, maybe not. That fucking rift is not gonna shut down by itself, is it? Okay. That might work from a distance. Then what? Take the sub down to the base. And then we take it from there. I'll go with her. What about us? It's a two -seater. You stay here, you find us a way out. By the time we get back, there's a good chance we're gonna have to move fast. What? Wait, that's in order, Nick. Give me the explosives. You do realize we might not make it back alive, right? Base shouldn't be far.
I am impressed. Few men would have heard that for so long. Perhaps you will be more sensitive to your comrades' pain. My questions are simple. I want to know your name, who you work for, and how you learn of the existence of this base. Of course, you also have to tell me what happened when you crossed the containment field. You say nothing, you hear me? You know. My name is Holmes. Jody, no. Jody Holmes. Agent 894732. I work with the CIA. So the CIA is aware of our little experiments. And what about the entity that was trapped in our containment field? He's tied to me. I was born with him. Fascinating. The Americans have also discovered the existence of this phenomenon. I must inform my superiors. I will return soon to continue our conversation. I'm sorry, Ryan. Now what? We find the condenser, destroy it, and get out. And any idea how you plan to do that? No. But I'll figure something out. Jody, don't get too close to them. We can't just wait here. Find the condenser before they realize something's up. The door over there. That must be the way. The condenser's close. I'm feeling echoes coming from the rift. This is too easy. I don't like it. <laughs> Jody! Jody, what's happening? It's hiding. The 
行动，快点快点！来，他们离开，我们要问他们。